All right, today we have a clip here that's kind of old. It's from 2021, so it's almost two years old now, but I have never seen it before, of Lauren Boebert harassing someone who was trying to film for a documentary, and um, she also called the police on him. So full Karen mode for Lauren Boebert here. Here it is. You filming me right now? Oh, to show Officer Gonzalez. Who's Oscar Gonzalez? Officer Gonzalez. Oh, okay. Well, if you, stay, if you stick around, you'll meet him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. you called him? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so awkward. I'm not trying to rob you. I'm not trying to do anything. Okay. Well, we can hang out. Wait for him. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you're filming me. Why can't, why can't I film over there? I didn't say you couldn't film. Okay. Why are you course. harassing me then? I'm not harassing you. So yeah, you are. Waiting for the police to show up. You're why? Right. For what? I want to see what you're doing. We've had a lot of sketchy stuff happen with this construction site. You're over there filming it. I want it. I want the answers. Okay. I want it. <laughs> I'm just filming it. Why? Because. She just yeah, doesn't. Is it not? No. It's not a common practice to film people? It's not a common practice to film construction sites. Really? Really. So it's okay for you to film me, right? It's your legal right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Terrible. <laughs> Absolutely awful. So a little background before we uh, go back and watch it again. I wanted to play that one in full instead of interrupting. Um, but uh, the original video was posted uh, by Toby Morton himself, the one who was recording the video on Twitter. I tried to play the Twitter one. It's a little longer than the one I just showed on TikTok, but Twitter's video player just sucks major balls and not in a good way. So it wouldn't work for me. Uh, but this guy was actually... He was actually filming for a documentary. It was a documentary about Lauren Boebert. Uh, the doc, uh, the uh, website, excuse me, that he posted this stuff on no longer exists. I don't know what happened to it. I guess it's just not up anymore. But uh, this guy is a, he's like a he's a real person. He's a he's a uh, actual like Hollywood writer. He's worked on South Park and Mad TV. He's also a a, a, a filmmaker, and he was out there recording uh he, he had gotten permission with permission from the restaurant across from shooter's grill which lauren bobert used to own that used to be a restaurant that she owned and uh the thing about that restaurant was that the staff was uh very m much encouraged to openly uh carry firearms we began filming interviews and exterior footage for my website the lauren .com, and after uh lauren bobert literally showed up while this guy was filming for a documentary about her and you i mean you saw the video began yelling at us from across the street we decided to pack up she then followed us to our car where this exchange happened uh we're gonna go and watch it again but i uh, i mean it's you filming me this is one of those times where you know we we see lauren bobert uh you know like uh in the house uh you know she always makes a fool of herself but she's just I, I mean, I made a video that's a little more serious about uh, some uh, seems like some maybe possible child abuse that's been going on in her household from her now or soon to be ex-husband, Jason. But uh, it, it, this just goes to show that Lauren Boebert is just as awful a person as uh, in real life as she is when we see her again, uh, you know, in Congress doing what she got elected to do, which is pretty not surprising, but it's also it's it's pretty pathetic, in my opinion. I mean, she called the cops on this guy for literally no reason. He wasn't doing anything illegal. She also in the video says that it's not common to film construction sites. It's not common to film normal people. I mean, it, the thing about documentaries, at least for me, is, you know, when you're making a documentary, unless it's about like a, a really specific event. Uh, that happened, but even then, you gotta get stuff like B-roll footage, okay? You gotta have footage for your documentary. No one wants to just sit and watch some guy talk. I mean, I, I know that that's what I am. That, that's exactly what I am. I'm just some guy who talks in front of a microphone, but if I was gonna make a documentary, I mean, you, you gotta get the footage. You gotta get what you gotta get. So, I mean, again, 
she, he wasn't doing anything wrong, and it's not like this guy's just some random schmuck who just has a camera and is like some fucking like creep who's like recording random people or something like that. And Lauren Boebert is just, just uh, she's just a horrible person. She's just terrible. Literally 100% Karen. This is just an encounter that we have seen. I can't imagine, or I can only imagine, that she has harassed other random people that aren't someone like Toby Morton, who is like an established filmmaker and a writer, uh, and, you know, just completely probably ruined their day because I mean, again, no one wants to deal with someone like this at all, especially not right now. of all people, Lauren Bobert. Who's Oscar Gonzalez? Officer Gonzalez. Oh, okay. She says it. She's so confident. She is so confident <laughs> in, um, Officer Gonzalez. I wonder why she, it seems like she just knows, uh, Every single, it, it, it sounds like she's, uh, she's been, I don't know, maybe passed around the police department, uh, for, she's, she's a very, 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 uh, seems like more than surface level knowledge of these officers' names in these departments. And this is very shortly after, um, she was actually elected and assumed her position as a representative. So, you know, she's... It just definitely seems like she's she's more than probably maybe more than friends with Officer Gonzalez if you guys know what I'm saying. If you stick around, you'll meet him. Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. you called him. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I like this. See, this guy and he handles it really well. I mean, like if if this was me, if, and I'm being honest, and you know, I, I can sit here and say whatever I want. I would probably like not be this calm. I would probably say nasty shit to her and. I, you know, I feel like I would have that right to do that, but this guy handled it perfectly. He's so polite, he's nice, and he's just trying to be like, hey, you know what? All right, thank you. Now, please leave me alone. <laughs> Except he doesn't say that. It's so awkward, though. This is part so weird. They're just staring at each other. <laughs> I'm not trying to rob you. I'm not trying to do anything. Okay. Well, we can hang out, wait for him. All right. Thank you. I mean, you're filming me. Why can't... Why I mean, can't... just the way that she's standing, and I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, but body language tells you everything you need to know. But, like, I mean, she just, she just has that stance. That angry mom stance. You know, you know, I mean, like, I mean, at least in the, how I grew up, you know, like, if, if, if someone's standing like this, they're probably not happy. But she doesn't have a reason to be upset at this guy or be shoving her camera in his face. I mean, she's not that close to him, honestly. But again, she's just harassing this guy for no fucking reason at all. And I film over there. I didn't say you couldn't film. And he, okay. she, her excuse is there's been weird stuff happening with the construction site. What does that mean? What are, people doing? What are they taking the fucking uh, the construction vehicles, uh, taking bulldozers down the street, stealing them? What the fuck are you talking about? Why are you harassing me then? I'm not harassing you. Thank yeah, you are. Waiting for the police to show up. Why? I want to see what you're doing. We've had a lot of sketchy stuff happen with this construction site. And you're over there filming it. I want to. And know. it's just, it's funny to me that these people, the conservatives, the Republicans, are the ones that run around and say they're, they're defunding the police, this and that. But you're wasting police resources. Okay, you're calling the cops <laughs> when there's no problem, but then when it's your son who calls and sounds very distressed and he says uh my uh my my dad and i got into an argument and he started throwing me around and then he calls back and says uh you know actually uh you know it's not a big deal she takes the phone from him and says uh you know my son doesn't need help so when it's someone that actually needs the police to come she takes the phone and says uh you know my son doesn't actually need help when it's her own flesh and blood who's literally in a, a situation that would require maybe someone, something like law enforcement to come out or other types of personnel to make sure that that child is okay. No, 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 no. But then when it's a random guy, a completely random dude that she has never seen or met before, literally recording for a documentary, and I'm assuming that this guy probably has professional equipment. He wasn't out there with his phone like she is. I'm just assuming. I could be wrong. She calls the cops and says, well, we can wait for the cops. We can wait for the cops. So she'll wait for the cops when she's literally harassing some random person. But when it's her son being physically abused by her now or soon to be ex-husband, it's a he doesn't need help. It's bullshit. These people are 
I don't, hypocrite's not even the word. I don't even know what type of word. Fucking evil. That's the word. And I don't like using that word to describe people, but I have no other word here to describe this human. Lauren Boebert is an evil motherfucking person. Okay. I'm just filming it. And if what? you think that that's harsh, I don't care. Because. <laughs> it's just so awkward. It's not a common practice. Film is it not? No. It's not a common practice to film people? It's not a common practice to film construction sites. Really? Really. So it's okay for you to film me, right? It's your legal right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't I don't know. Uh, random uh, wild Lauren Bobert encounter. Literally just, I mean, it, it, it was... Uh, apparently at the restaurant that she used to own, but still uh, very, very <laughs> awkward, weird, and also just downright terrible and deplorable. Um, so please let me know what you think. That's going to be it for the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, press that little bell, turn on all notifications because I do try and make a video every day. Whether or not YouTube will allow that video to stay up or be seen by you uh, is not up to me, but 